Hello, my name's Mary Ann Nestor and my passion is dogs. I've been competing with my dogs in different canine sports for the last 20 years. I also judge and I've written three different publications about how to train your dog in agility or heel work to music. Doggy dancing is something that I think most people have been tempted to have a go at. I suspect the music is blaring from the radio in the kitchen and you've got hold of your pet and done a few steps in time to the music together. Well, there you have it, you already are doing doggy dancing. I think the first time we saw doggy dancing on the big screen was when Mary Ray did heel work to music with one of her dogs at Crufts. And forever after, that's been one of the big events of the Crufts dog show, is watching Mary and her dogs perform different moves and choreography to a whole range of different types of music. If you want to get involved in heel work to music or dancing with your dog, there's lots of different organisations that you can visit, either their websites or you can write to them in England. Pause and Music, Canine Freestyle GB, and also your own dog training club may have a branch that does heel work to music classes. What is heel work to music or doggy dancing? It's a collection of tricks in time to the music. We've all taught our dogs to maybe wave a paw in the air or lie down or roll over. But if we link those together in a sequence and we did it in time to a piece of music, then we'd be doing doggy dancing. Also, if you're doing dances with your dogs, it's expected that you two will be a little bit fluid in your movements. You don't have to be a ballet dancer and you don't have to be the hottest thing on the, on the dance floor at the disco, but it is nice if you can move to the music. It's open to all people of all ages and sizes, equally, all dogs, all sizes, all breeds. A small dog will have different strengths and be able to showcase different moves as compared to, say, a big dog that perhaps will go for a different beat to the music and may take a little longer to do his spins and twists. But basically, it's good exercise to keep you fit, your mind agile, and your dog just having the greatest bond with you ever. So lots of good fun there. If you're thinking of showcasing your doggy routine, you can do that at displays of fates to raise money for charity. You can amaze your family and friends in the living room, or you might decide to take your routine to a competition. The Kennel Club licenses different competitions throughout England, Wales and Ireland. We've done very well internationally, Great Britain. Our team has just come back from the European Opens where we won not just the individual hero to music, but the team gold as well. So you can make it as much of an event as you want to here work to music. You can keep it for private occasions, for your friends and family in your back garden. You can do it for fates or you can go and compete. And if you compete, it may just be that you go through the progress test and work your way up the levels. Or it might be that you're aiming for crufts or you're aiming to be a world champion. If I was going to start with a young dog and think about training moves for heel work to music, I would teach him to twist in a little circle on the ground from the left and to the right. I might also think about him going around an object on my legs. Uh, the other thing I would teach him to do is to run between my legs just so he gets used to seeing me from a different direction. <laughs> um, and I might teach him to roll over, I to do something on the ground. Give a paw, that's something a lot of pet dogs already know how to do. But basically, before you even start teaching different tricks, you want a good, solid foundation in basic obedience. For instance, if you're going to teach your dog to wave his paw in the air, you would first want a really solid, good sit-stay. Otherwise, every time you show your dog a treat, he's going to come towards you rather than staying in the same spot. A well-socialised dog is also important because you're going to be meeting lots of other dogs at the Heel Work to Music shows and doggy dancing. It's nice to be ambassador if your dog is well socialised. He's going to be a good little citizen. He's going to enjoy mixing with other dogs and meeting new people. Please don't forget, it's a day out for him 
as well as for the handler. And even if you haven't won a rosette, you still get to take your dog home. And that's perhaps the best prize of all. Thank you.